I also see a lot of patients who come in having had an embryo transfer, which has failed. And often they're told their embryo is of good quality. So of course their concern is, did my uterus fail? Did my uterus not allow the embryo to attach? What can I do to make sure my uterus wasn't the problem with my previous failures? The answer is we have a lot of uterine studies that can help us answer that question. We perform a three-dimensional or 3D ultrasound to rule out congenital anomalies in the uterus where you're born with an abnormally shaped uterus. We can also rule out fibroids and adenomyosis with that technique. We can do an office hysteroscopy to rule out scar tissue, polyps, or other intracavitary lesions that would compromise the ability of the embryo to attach. It's also important to image the tubes because a blocked tube can also interfere with implantation. We can study the uterine lining with ultrasound to be sure the lining has at least an eight millimeter thickness before transfer and has what we call a triple or three line pattern. That's associated with optimal implantation of embryos. If all of these things are normal and yet embryos still are failing to implant, we sometimes look further with an endometrial biopsy. And this biopsy can be used to rule out a subclinical or silent infection or inflammation in the uterus called endometritis. We can also look for a protein receptor that can be missing in patients particularly with endometriosis. And if this receptor is missing, it can interfere with implantation. And fortunately, we have a simple therapy to correct this. So as you can see, there's a lot of studies we can do to make sure the uterus is doing its part to receive an embryo. And if you have a good embryo, it has the best chance to implant and lead to a live birth.